Doc type declarations are among the most important items included in your code. These declarations tell any rendering agent what version of HTML or XHTML your page is using and uses this information to determine how the page should be rendered. When a browser detects a document type declaration, it will enter a standards mode based on the declaration that takes a lot of guessing out of rendering the page, making your CSS perform better and more consistently. Let's take a look at the document type declaration and how Dreamweaver determines which declaration to use when creating a new document. Here I have our index.html page open, and you may have noticed I'm in code view. If I go to the very top of the code, and I'm just going to highlight line one here, this is our document type declaration. Thankfully, I don't have to memorize all of this. Dreamweaver just creates this for me, but let's take a look at exactly what this is saying. First off, it's telling us it's using XHTML 1.0 transitional. You may even notice this web address right there. That's a full address that anybody, including any rendering agent, can go to to get all of the standards for XHTML 1.0 transitional. So it sort of points you to where this declaration is online if you ever need to reference it. So it's really doing two things for us. Any page validator, which is going to come and check out our page, it's going to look at this, determining what the standard is, and then it's going to look through all of our code to make sure that we're meeting these standards. When a browser accesses this, it's going to say, oh, okay, this is XHTML 1.0 transitional. It knows how the tag should be rendered, and then it will render them properly right along with your CSS. So every page needs one. Thankfully, Dreamweaver is going to create one for us, and let's take a look at doing that. If I go to File and choose New, up comes the New Document dialog box. I'm just going to choose Basic HTML, No Layout, and I'm going to go over to my Document Type Declaration. So if I grab the pull-down menu, notice that I can choose HTML, transitional strict, and then XHTML transitional strict, or the 1.1 specification. I can even do the XHTML mobile specification, which is pretty neat. If you don't want to keep choosing this every single time, and you want to use some of those other methods to create documents that don't bring up this dialog box, how do we make sure that Dreamweaver is doing what we want it to do? Well, you'd want to go in and do your preferences. So you can either find this by going up to edit preferences on the PC, Dreamweaver preferences on the Mac, or if you've got the same dialog box that I have open, you can go right down here and click on the preferences icon in the lower left-hand corner. Now that's going to bring up your Dreamweaver preferences. So if you're coming at it from a different angle, you want to go down and find the new document preferences. Right here in our new document dialog box preferences, this is where we choose what type of a document type declaration we want. The Groundswell site is using XHTML 1.0 and transitional, so I'm going to make sure that we keep that. So you can go ahead and modify that if you want and click OK, and the next time you create a new page, that's what's going to be chosen by default, or that's what's going to be displayed here in the new document dialog box. Let's look at what would happen if you have a document that is using the incorrect document type declaration for your site. Let's choose HTML 4.01 transitional, and I'll just go ahead and create that. Here we have an untitled document, and notice the document type declaration is 4.0 transitional. Let me just go ahead and save this, and I'll save this in our site as wrong. DTD. Right now, this is incompatible with the rest of my site. This might happen because maybe you're getting the file from somebody else. Maybe you weren't really paying attention when it was created and didn't notice that the wrong DTD was being used. Or maybe it's just an older page that you're bringing in from an older site. Dreamweaver makes it really easy to switch this, and you're not going to have to do any cutting and pasting of code. I can go right up to the menu. I can go to File, Convert, and then I can choose any document type that I want. And we'll choose transitional. And as soon as I do that, notice that the document type declaration changed with me. It's even more important than that. If I had something in my file that was acceptable in the older version of HTML, let's say a tag that wasn't self-closing, Dreamweaver would have closed it for me. So not only is it going to give you the proper document type declaration, it's also going to go through your code and make sure that your code adheres to the standard that you've chosen. So that is an extremely powerful option. While the document type declaration is something that you can usually just set and forget, it's worth noting that if you're required to use another document type standard, you need to remember how to change the document type declaration. Regardless, it's worth double checking occasionally just to make sure that Dreamweaver is creating the correct DTD for your site.